Well, hello, I'm Paul Chitwood, President of Your International Mission Board, and I bring you greetings today. On behalf of your nearly 3,600 IMB missionaries, I thank you for your partnership and your generous support of them and of our cooperative mission work. I'm excited to be able to provide you with an update on your IMB. And the first thing I want to do is stress that what we do together is truly the most important work in the universe because together we're addressing the world's greatest problem. We cooperate to address the problem of lostness. Spiritual lostness has eternal and universal consequences. Revelation 20 verse 15 speaks of the coming judgment of God and states that, quote, if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire to be separated from God because of sin and to bear the consequences of sin. It's not only spiritual and physical death, but it is eternal separation from God in hell. Because all have sinned, this is everyone's greatest problem. Lostness is the world's greatest problem. But God has provided a solution, and that solution is the gospel. Since the beginning, Southern Baptists have worked together to get the gospel to every nation, to all tribes and peoples and languages. And across our 177 year history, churches have sent 25,000 missionaries through the IMB to the nations with an impact that really will only be measured by eternity. Sending missionaries to the lost to share the gospel is why your IMB exists. In fact, 92% of IMB missionary teams work among the unreached. They are our missionary presence, carrying the good news to those who have yet to hear. And God is using them. We see the growing impact of our missionary presence around the world. This past year, more than half a million people overseas heard the gospel. Of those, 176,000 indicated they believed the gospel and were trusting Christ. 107,000 were baptized, and we thank God that 22,000 new churches were started. That's the best report I could think to give you today, and I'm excited for you to be able to celebrate this with us. There's lots of other things going on, as you know. At the 2022 SBC annual meeting, Southern Baptists overwhelmingly responded to the problem of sexual abuse. As our convention moves forward with significant steps to protect against abuse, it's our 2,850 missionary kids that come immediately to my mind. I'm so grateful for Southern Baptist's strong support of protection and care for our most vulnerable. The IMB has taken a strong stand against abuse, and I believe that we will see the Lord continue to honor the transparency, humility, and repentance in our denominational family, just as He has at the IMB. You can find more about your IMB's ongoing response on our website at imb.org slash abuse response. Another highlight of the SBC annual meeting was the launch of our new IMB brand. Our new brand is steeped in our rich history but it's also looking forward to an even brighter future together. God has blessed us beyond what we could have imagined. Uh, we see His provision in every way at the IMB, including the financial generosity of our churches. After a decade of decline in missionary sending, the IMB is in a season of rebuilding. and We've seen a huge turnaround in giving to support our rebuilding efforts. Uh, last year was the best financial year in the history of the IMB, and this year is sizing up to be even better. Our two primary revenue streams, the Lottie Offering and the Cooperative Program, uh, combined are currently running more than 14% ahead of last year's giving. This generosity opens the way for growth in sending. Our missionary candidate pipeline has quadrupled since I became president and today stands at more than 1,000. That means more missionaries taking the gospel to the lost. But amid all this encouraging news, there's also a sobering number that continues to grow. Based on global population growth and the global death rate, along with a re religious affiliation, our global research team reports the number of people dying each day apart from Christ. Uh, that number's updated every year, 
And this year that number stands at 157,690. Think about that, if you even can, it's so overwhelming. 157,690 people dying lost around the world every single day. More people will die lost today than on any other day in human history. The lostness of our world is too great for any single person or, or even a church to shoulder alone. We must continue to work together. We find ourselves today somewhere between the Great Commission and the Great Multitude, pictured in Revelation 7-9. Southern Baptists historically have risen to the challenge to meet this problem of lostness now for 177 years through cooperation. This is why we came together. and This is why we must stay together. Together we share the good news of Jesus with people and in places where it has never been heard. Together, we send, sustain, and support missionaries to be steadfastly present around the globe, to share this gospel message, and to plant healthy churches. And together, we are reaching the nations.